Hello, I'm Udo Neumann and this is a comparison of Alex Megos and Adam Ondra at the Lead Climbing World Championships 2019. No, please don't expect a sleekly edited fast-paced clip here, since the intention of this video is to demonstrate the workflow in a video analysis app like Coach's Eye on mobile devices. To be able to rewind, speed up and slow down video on your mobile device is invaluable for every climbing coach, giving augmented feedback to his or her athlete. The best thing about these apps is the ability to compare climbers and attempts. By comparing attempts, athletes can gain insight into their progression. This is a bonus track to the upcoming Climbing Coaches I installment of my Climbing Performance Coaching course. Please check out my homepage udini.com under education for more information. Since I recorded this video, the marketplace for these apps has changed, unfortunately. Most apps are now only available, available as subscriptions together with the other services these companies offer, like for example video management, which by the way quickly can become an issue if you're working professionally with a team. The app Coaches Eye, for example, has disappeared from the app stores. I should notice that I am in no way affiliated with any of the companies mentioned as I still prefer to do analysis on, a, on my proper computer with a dedicated video editing app. In the second part of this video I'll discuss the advantages of Final Cut Pro compared with mobile apps. When I recorded this clip, the app OnForm seems to be your best choice for getting quick feedback with your mobile, as the free version still allows you to do some interesting things without subscribing to their paid services. So without further ado, let's jump into a comparison of Alex Migos and Adam Ondra, first in Coach's Eye and then in Final Cut Pro. Alex climbs on the left, Adam on the right. But first let me uh, get into uh, terms with, uh, with the Coach's Eye app. Just as you would if you open it the first time and try to do a, uh, an, an analysis on the fly. I watched uh, this decision once and um, haven't been uh, haven't watched it in between so that's a good uh, good point of reference that's a good starting point to uh, approach it with a beginner's mind and have too not too many assumptions about what's gonna happen no, there's still of course if you know those climbers there's still uh, things you, you might have in, in the back of your mind about these climbers, but uh, as I said, it's best to to approach it with a beginner's mind. So uh, I opened the video in Coach's Eye, this is Coach's Eye that you're seeing here, and I'm recording myself uh, with a screen capture feature on an iPad, uh, not with a rack button you see in this uh, top center. You can do this for your athletes. You can use the rack button, you, you record your voice, and um, you can also output, uh, export the video, but it's not the best quality. I think it's still standard definition. So the power of Coach's Eye and similar apps comes with this versus button 
and this allows me to add another video in this case though i will add the same video since i uh, shortened the the video that i downloaded from youtube from the live stream uh, but it also has adam ondra and alex megos right next to each other so, so cool. Cool. Okay, we have Alex Migos to the left. And we first we have to decide on the sync point. And this is really important for any kind of uh, analysis. I will get back to this later, how you can play with the sync point. And let's find the time when he really lifts up his second foot. Unfortunately, we can't see this from here. And is he still standing on the ground? Yes, he's still standing on the ground. He pulls in and yeah, and I just assume that this upward motion is when he lifts his second foot off the ground. But again, this is uh, already one of the problems you have with video analysis that um, uh, sometimes you don't see everything. So, and here to the right, we have Adam Ondra. And we try to find, hopefully this Adam will be filmed differently, but I'm afraid not. They always take this, ah, maybe yes. Okay, that's nice. This angle would allow us, this camera would allow us to really make sure to find the right time when he lifts off the ground. But I think we are safe with assuming that uh, they are both very in a very similar position right now. Yeah. So we sync them up. This is the middle chain symbol. Yeah. Up. And from now on, they move together. Nice thing is you still can, can move them in their respective, respective frame. No, but let's just play it. He's going to be crowned world champion in really only his second year ever competition climbing. Yeah, Amazing so, stuff. So uh, Adam Ondra pulled this off. Us. One of the greatest moments in IFSC history in the Paris 2016 really World Championships. Last climber out, last event of the competition. And while this is playing, I try to keep them in the center so that we can watch as much as possible like right now i'm moving adam a little bit to the right so because his leg was cut off and it becomes really clear that adam is already climbing faster than alex by quite a bit what yeah. opportunity. But sometimes we are fooled, and right now they uh, are in a similar position. But other clamps already on. Well, whereas Alex decides to rest a little bit here. Okay, let's play it on. Through there as cleanly as possible. You can't help but think there it's got to be a lot of nerves at play here for Alex. He's had to listen to the crowd reaction. The seven climbers could draw him for an awful long time to wait. Robotic left leg, right leg. Left hand, right Good idea. There hasn't been a move. Just keep coming. Yeah. Keep coming. Immense accuracy, but combined with immense speed. Known for having massive endurance. Not these got to read these sequences. So right here, this is me talking in real time so i don't know if it holds any water but alex seems to be a little unclear of uh, where to put his feet and he solved this now and only subjectively it looks a little bit as if alex is slightly more tense than slightly less relaxed than adam is at the same moves very low friction part of that volume, the left foot. The Czech come team with coming to life. A little bit of Adam. physical Smashing energy, up with the right hand. a bit of nervous energy. 
Okay, so here we see that there's already quite a difference. Um, what we cannot do in uh, Coach's Eye is that we have a time code uh, for each of the two frames of the two split screens separately. So we cannot really, we, we can guess, you know, like maybe 10 seconds that Adam is faster, but we don't know for sure. And um, in these rules, you, we must assume that climbing faster is better. If you don't make mistakes, and we'll see what happens next. But so far, I would say advantage Adam. Have a little issue like, you like that, well down, short of where you'll need to be. Can't help really playing with you mentally like the this. Crimps. Alex could do, he's got the clip done earlier on. Himself back early on track, well. cruising through a few moves, uh, reading them perfectly. Very pleased yeah. about that. Take the rest of the realizes what's still to come above. Has really taken many rests out of his chalks up a couple of times. So, this is um, where some of the uh, competitors ran into trouble with these white, yellow holes. This uh, is basically the first uh, crux for, for these competitors. Shake him, we have to really get some stop back on that. And I have to say, I don't think we'll see him stop right from here on out. We can leverage the left foot there, have a little stab says hold the, 29, the left 33 uh, plus. Wanted to kind of place the foot before he really moved off onto it. The first little too small dream across. Volume lands. The big triangular volume goes up now with the right hand onto the first ice cream cone. That is number 33. That's where he's got to head and move off from if he wants to move on from Yakutu. He's closing in on the high point, but he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to get there. He's about very little time. Seven or eight moves short of the hand. He's got the seven or eight to make very, the very hard moves. He's definitely up here. He's now bumped up with the left hand onto the head wall. Feet cut loose. The feet, again, you can see. Trying to figure out what to do with the hand. What to do with the feet. How to keep. Now he's crossed himself on this wall. High in hand. He's got one more move. That's 34. Adam Andres in the lead. So let's see where Adam falls. Let's rewind a little bit. So. Okay, and this puts him in the lead. But again, he was climbing earlier than Alex. So Alex still cl can climb further. And of course, I mean, that's very possible. It's not that, that uh, Alex climbs slower, that this necessarily means uh, yeah, basically anything. You know, if he finds a nice rest, if he's physically fitter, he might get away with it. You know? So let's see what Alex does. In the lead. Now the traverse begins. This is Adam going to Andre be so tight. Here in Hatsuyuji. This is a high point set by Adam Andre. That is the first like left triangle hole currently on left your, your screen. He needs to get to that. On the Move off it really, to be crowned really the world position. champion. Went from hold 20 Crosses through with the right hand. You can see how tired Alex Megos is getting. He's got a real battle on his hands here. Ah, the foot slips. Okay. So this is where Alex falls off slightly before Adam. No, so Adam wins, we know that. So, but one thing that I think even as the most uh, experienced lead climbing coach, things get really confusing. So one problem is that Adam is already ahead by many moves and it's really hard at least for me to uh, find any differences between the two climbers it would make much more sense to sync up the video to where they're actually falling or actually sync them up to where alex is falling so let's do this i press the green chain symbol in the right corner right bottom corner and now they're unsynced again and now I scroll to, to the hold, to the slide undercling, that uh, the last hold that Alex had. So I pause Alex here, and let's see where this would be for, we're already in the rewind here. So this is, da, 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 and this is the hold. And I think it will make much more sense to compare them uh, from this sync point. So again, press the 
chain symbol in the center, it's white this time, and sync them up again. Now they're synced up. So let's rewind to make the So, but I think to be fair, we should sync up Adam to where he just gets to the hold. Like this. Okay. So, center um, chain symbol, top, and they're synced up again. Oh, and let's rewind and have them maybe start off this kind of difficult looking but somehow restable uh, position and it looked as if the hold the, the move to the hold that Alex has in his left hand as if this move is already difficult so let's go a little bit further back further back to where maybe sync them up where they touch this hold. Let us first get to this hold. It shows that for this part of the route, Alex is climbing quite a bit faster if you compare these two positions. Uh, Adam has already done the hard move to the to the yellow hold and this is maybe uh, because Alex is already feeling the pump and is already getting tired and this makes him climb faster of course we don't know that so let's just see how it looks uh, if we can find something else if they have yeah, different pacing, different beta. Seven or eight moves. From there on. They are seven or eight very, very hard moves. He's definitely getting pumped now. Pumps up with the left hand onto the head wall. Feet cut loose. Volumes. It's a big triangle. Trying to figure out what to do with the hands, what to do with the feet, how to keep. That's where he's got to head. So off this wall, high in had your No, Alex is just the yellow hold. Adam Andre, he's safely onto the head wall. Ah, okay. Adam is so rest. So tight. 34 plus. It's a high point set by Adam. Yes. Yeah, this explains the, uh, Adam climbing or reaching uh, the hold a little bit later, uh, the, the sink hold, because he rests a, a, a tiny bit. Whereas Alex looks a little bit as if he's too tired to really care about uh, a rest very much and he rather uh, moves forward. The moves on. On your so very similar in this position. Now, pretty much the same. To be crowned world, world champion. Slippy on the white bits. Crosses. Another tiny shake by by uh, Adam. No? And slightly different body position too. Well, difficult to say because we're dealing with two different angles of view. And as I will explain later, with a, that's really tricky to make any uh, assumptions when you're dealing with two different angle of views. So angle of uh, view uh, is also relevant because both of these uh, takes that you see here uh, are shot with a telephoto lens. And if you filming your athletes in lead, at least in lead competitions with a a phone or a pad, you won't get as close as they are here. Uh, they don't. They won't fill the frame. And this is another issue or another shortcoming of uh, doing your video analysis with something like Coach's Eye, is that you yes you can move the frame. That's super nice. But if you scale them, there's no way. <laughs> there's nothing that can tell you. Uh, how much you scaled the individual vi uh, video so that's not just not possible with uh, with coach's eye the right hand you can see how tired Alex Megos is getting he's got a real battle on his yeah. so this is where the decision is made now again surprising uh, a surprising difference 
in in uh, body positions you know you can really tell that uh, alex is struggling um or we have to consider though that adam is quite a bit taller than alex is so his right foot uh, further out and not quite sitting on the on the left foothold as much as purging on the left foothold as much as alex might be due to him being taller so let's see what this develops they go to the hold it's interesting because the just this moves lo move looks really quite quite different now, and considering that is a, a side under cling you for example adam has his thumb on on top of the hold okay it's a dual texture hold so it doesn't do your hold good but the, the position of the wrist and the hand looks a little bit better and then of course alex slips you know, but he has also awful lot of of weight on on his left foot you know, and his body position well and the, at the moment he gets the hold he slips what's quite common for us to do you know like once we have a hold it's a, it's a mixture of, of, of many things but it can be also that once we have a hold we are so happy about it that we tend to forget a little bit about the footholds so the, the, this might have happened here or not no it's impossible to tell so let's see how much further Adam climbs and is just a tiny bit. So they were separated by just by one move. You know, so this is how close these decisions on this level of climbing are. Um, well, I think we should switch over to, um, to Final Cut and see if we find some additional things. I'm really curious about how much longer Alex took uh, to, uh, before he came to the difficult part of the route. Uh, because it seems to be quite a bit. You know? And considering that this wall in Hachiyoji was really short you know, and probably just as intense, you know, short but really, really intense. I, I don't think that there were a whole lot of easy moves on, on this uh, lead climb e i mean easy for the, for those guys huh? not for for everybody else um i don't think that they found that there, there were a lot of filler moves um so you must consider that uh, spending say another 30 seconds on a climb like this costs you uh, and again with final cut we will find these things just one thing we can do here though is see how how if they climb the sunny side x section uh, differently I'm also curious how adam gets to the to the left hand hold this this here how well, this works he's sitting on his right foot it looks awkward it looks really awkward and uh, i'm assuming that the right hand is on a terrible sloper uh, this was a, a definitely a hard move let's see how alex does it yeah these are hard moves he even has to throw himself a little bit even to the intermediate before the yellow hold this hard again would be I'm, I'm just curious how um how adam gets to the intermediate because i don't remember it looking very difficult so now again i do another desyncing so pop i, I uh, sync them and go to where Adam goes 
well i'm afraid that might maybe we don't see it because of the angle of, of view oh, he already has the hold it's really surprising yeah okay whoa let's see i i uh, sync them when they both have have the hold with the left hand whoop now adam let's see alex okay whoa this looks really different i think adam gets a lot of purchase from uh, from this heel hook of his left uh, foot looks like I, I cannot tell what his right foot is doing and unfortunately again both of these limbs are hidden in Alex's case so again but i but i still sync them oh, and let's uh, let's see okay so i think that's probably the best we can do here so quite different body position Alex has his hand already on the upper hold and Adam goes up with the upper hold holds it well that doesn't even look as well I think the heel hook is really helping a lot look how how different this move is it looks really limited for Alex and really, really easy for Adam so and even the, this position uh, I think many people ah okay now we know wh uh, where uh, uh, Alex left foot was toe hooking below this dual texture black, ho black hold interesting it looks as if Adam's position made the move easier so again no, what's also, I think, pretty obvious here is how much taller um, Adam is. So again, that get, might help him in this situation or not. You know, this is this is really difficult to uh, make assumptions about these things you know, because then uh, it's not only about the sheer height but also about the levers uh, of both of these climbers. You know, both of them have really long legs, uh, but. <laughs> Uh, now that is yeah impossible to determine who has an advantage where so we go on o only then Ah, okay. Okay, the, of course, this makes a difference too. You now that, that uh, uh, Adam is going to the left. This is why <laughs> the move looks so easy. Uh, Adam goes to the upper right hold first before he goes to the left. And I, I think it's safe to say that this makes the move to the yellow left hold easier. So, and this is the interesting part about video analysis. Now, depending on where you sync your video and at what details lo you look at, you might come to really almost opposite conclusions. You know? And it's never a good idea to only look at the point where the climber is falling, because this can be really misleading. You know, a, a fall is almost always, especially on, on this level of climbers, uh, the result of tiny tiny movement errors or or, or taking too long you no know, it's, it's not about like one single uh, incident you know? yeah again adam purging squeezing the hold i, I like in every little detail I, it looks a little bit uh, as if Adam finds a way to make things a little bit 
tiny bit easier on himself you know like if you see how how well, of course if you look at his right arm <laughs> that doesn't look very relaxed but the rest of his body also <laughs> i'm looking down his body his left arm looks really relaxed it's through his right calf uh, and his uh, right hamstrings maybe not so much so you of course within resting positions you have to take the whole body into consideration <laughs> it's not just okay i rest my arm and everything is cool if this uh, takes too much body tension or really fully contracted hamstring then it's not a rest no? it, it works against you so but but again huh, that even this to, to have the opportunity to rest a little bit to get your breathing uh, under control you know is already helping you and uh, I, I think like from from looking at uh, Alex's face he is struggling more than Adam at this point and mind you still the difference is only one move between these two climbers you know? So, okay, I think we, we exploited pretty much what we can do with uh, Coach's Eye. Uh, one thing we cannot change uh, if we don't rely on our own footage is that this is shot for entertainment. Now, and these all these cuts and all these different uh, angles are really not useful for video analysis. This is a very important rule for any kind of video analysis don't be creative don't do fancy zooms don't do fun, uh, fancy camera angles don't cut too fast i mean when you're film when you're shooting you're not cutting at all again be really boring try that the climber fills your frame but uh, that you're not missing anything this is another don't uh, frame too tight frame a little bit loose but of course, you, you want to see something, you want to see details, so you have to frame, I would think, at least as much as you expect the, to uh, be the climber, to, to the space you expect the climber to occupy when he or she is uh, looking like a starfish, like fully extended. You know, you want to have a fully uh, extended starfish climber well within your frame i think then you're on the safe side and, and then of course you have to pay attention when you're filming so these, uh, these different angle of use makes it really hard to come to conclusion but again there, there are a couple of things we can uh, maybe uh, find uh, analyze a little bit better in final cut uh, one last thing before we leave um coach's eye is uh you might be curious what these things are no you can do like little uh little drawings no? and many people that that buy coach's eye are really excited about these I must say, I find uh, them of limited uh, usefulness. You know, like even even something like this, it looks good. You know, you might uh, you make some impression. You know, people might be impressed by this. But actually, that this tells us uh, 97 degrees of angle is not worth a whole lot. You know, we cannot uh, that we could only learn anything from that when both were shot exactly from the same angle with the same uh, lens with the same uh, angle of view uh, otherwise it's uh, yeah it's I don't know. again if you I think it might be helpful if you're dealing with beginners that don't know where to look at that might be cool but if you are uh, dealing with a little bit more experienced climbers, they know where to look. And certainly these two guys, you know, if you would play them the video, they would uh, see so much more details than we do. Uh, so that is, I, I find it not necessary to make any kind of, of drawings. You know, like that you see lots of, of coaches you know, and, and they do like a, a little uh, show indicate little things again yes if you're doing this for a bigger audience 
uh, cool. For, for athletes, I think not necessary. So uh, let's move over to Final Cut and see how the whole pacing issue developed between these two. So now we are in Final Cut Pro and let's see if this uh, deepens our understanding of what was going on in this lead finals. Final Cut Pro is a professional vid video editing software and um, the main advantage is that well it, it helps you to archive things to tag for example your climbers you know and and um, help retrieving video files with metadata that would be a huge advantage um, there are several of these professional video editing softwares final cut unfortunately only exists on the mac but there's also adobe premiere or several other solutions i think in any case you would need to purchase some kind of um, plug-in uh, that allows you to do those split screens and um, you might think why i could just uh, crop the two videos and uh, lay them next to each other but uh, these split screen plugins are actually um, work in a different fashion you can imagine them as laying frames on top of the video and then you can move the video behind this frame uh, independently and this really helps you know if you would crop the videos then as uh, soon as you move them it would be a disaster because uh, they would sh move over over the other video and uh, this is really hard to do you can get away with it in a, in a short form a little little social media clip where the camera might be even on a tripod a locked so-called locked shot that would work but not like here where uh, I, I i had to try to fit the video uh, into the center of, of the frame with the angles constantly uh, being changed like just right now by the uh, editors of this live stream so again you would for, for this kind of work you would need a full-blown video editor and some plug-in that allows you to do split screens these timers I placed on top of the video, I think they are built in in many of the applications, you know, these, these timers. And you might wonder why, I, why they each have a timer. Right now that's a bit redundant because I both started the timers uh, at the start of the climb, you know, as soon as the, they lift up their second foot. I started those timers and this is why they run in peril. You already see Adam Ondra just fell and you can already tell that he climbed quite a bit faster. But in to, to, to find out about how much faster in real time is really hard to do. You would ha have to remember, okay, uh, Adam, went to this hold in this and this uh, minute and second so that would be hard to do J let's just uh, talk about the timers a little bit you see these show you the minute and the seconds passed of course you could also do it in a um, countdown fashion that might have been even better for some occasions if you want to compare just a single section or uh, the rest period during a single uh, section like on on this hold you know th that i started with them both getting to uh, to the hold they're resting on right now with their left hand then one timer of course is enough and in this uh, instance the timer shows you the seconds and the milliseconds and you see that they're both resting an equal amount of time. What happened? Why is Alex so much slower than Adam? And the main reason is this section. 
know, where he gets stuck for in the moment. And you could argue that Alex Megos is losing the world championships right now to fall down on the move and then have to do it again in this kind of route. You know, it, it makes you tired. And uh, with all the fitness in the world, you cannot compensate for that. If your opponent doesn't do a similar uh, mistake or error, you will most likely pay for that. If you look at the timer, I synced up the timer to where they both fell. And what we are looking in at right now is how they spent their last minute. And you see that uh, Adam again is a little bit uh, above Alex, but as I mentioned in my observations with coach's eye beforehand, he takes this rest. And I think to take a rest just a couple of moves before the, the real crux is just an incredible help. You know, uh, if you look at Alex's body language, he seems to be much more strained and my, it doesn't look if he has the opportunity to even rest. You know, he appears uh, a bit more tense than Adam does. That's where he's got to head and move off from if he wants to move on from Jakob Schubert. Now we can see it. Adam Andre, he's safely onto the head wall. He's used very little time. If there are any rests to be had, he's got plenty of time to make use of them, but I don't think you'll find any up here. It is small hold after small hold. The strain of climbing the route also leaves traces in Adam's climbing. His coordination is clearly impaired. Crossing under, that's 33. Can he get one more move? That's 34. Adam Andre's in the lead. Adam Andre takes the lead. Here it looks as if his plan was to swap feet, but then he decides against it, maybe because he's fatigued or maybe he thinks that's not a move he can do in this state, or also for strategic reasons that he thinks that he can reach a higher hold by not trying to do the foot swap right now. And even though he knows that he would have to get his feet further to the left, but he decides against it. But this can be really a tactical decision. So again, you see how close the decision between these two world-class climbers are. And I hope we shed some light into the, this decision. Oh, and I hope I gave you some idea what you can do with video analysis.